tilde recently. Yeah, I'm not sure because he was. You said uh, he was taking a break, and uh, I know he's like to at least to keep warm. He's been streaming a little bit as well. He does uh, have a Twitch stream. So, Sinji, uh, gonna see the Pac-Man against Zamba, the Rob right here. Uh, definitely his best character by far. And then uh, these two just kind of going at it. Yeah, and you know the interesting thing is that both of these characters kind of known for oh, you know they. People think, oh, they camp, they throw projectiles, but both of them have incredible boxing game. You know, uh, Pac-Man's a little more aerial boxing, but, I mean, we all know what Rob Down Tilt looks like. Yeah, man, we see a lot of touch of death options from a Rob, so you kind of want to, like, keep Rob out. At the same time, all these, like, low percent combo strings, they kind of just, like, have that high knockback that Pac-Man just, like, thrives with. And, uh, I don't know, I think we're going to get a very unique set. Yeah, I, you know, one thing that I love to watch when Sinji plays is that he does not wing it, you know? He has a game plan against every single character, every single player. Like, right now, the way that he's using trampoline to escape from these neutral airs that come his way, just, oh, though. Oh, what a conversion. The perfect landing with that neutral air and catching the knockback with the side beat. And that's a really early stop for Pac-Man. Yeah, and Pac-Man can take early stocks like that, but it's a lot less consistent than the uh, the, men you know, the menace that is Rob. And yeah. now he has to figure out how to actually get a kill on his own. He has Bell charged up, I believe. Yeah, there it is, but not actually connecting. Zomba too cognizant knows that it's uh, what Sinji's looking for right now. Yeah, a load of extra credit right there already. 100% and counting. Zomba is running away with this game Wait, one. What? Yeah, wow. No, no, he didn't hit the trampoline. He DI'd out, oh. and he didn't hit his own trampoline. I know that that's something that normally Sinji's like, oh, I don't care about Rob down there because, you know, I up B, and then, you know, oh, I just get hit back right into my up B. But I guess he... Oh, 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 is he dead? Is yeah, that game? All right, game two, let's go. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think Sinji's just getting started. I mean... <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, they both made it here to winter semis. They both played a lot of opponents, and they both made it here to meet their seeds, but uh, Zamba's on something else right now for game one. Yeah, well, I think that... Uh, Remember that this match, like, look at the percents before this happened. Uh, Sinji was foot, definitely, so. you know, had a really good game plan that he was playing to. It was effective. It was working. And then he dies at these really early percents. And, yeah, look at that. He just barely missed his own trampoline. Oh, my god. And that must, have been from, that must have been from DIing out. And another Nair at 57%. Wow. Yeah. You got to be careful in the corner right there. So that's uh, something that Sinji's got to be more wary of, I think, because... Uh, since he lost the first stock, so it kind of like let Zamba snowball the lead into that three stock victory. Yeah, it also felt like once he no longer had the lead, whatever effective game plan he had was no longer an option, and that's where we saw him really start to struggle. And in this game, kind of doesn't have a lead to begin with here. Although they are going very even, very back and forth, and it seems like Sinji is a little bit more confident. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. he's dead. No. He's not dead. Oh, right. Yeah, that, um, the, uh, the Rob Saibi, the Roto arm, very high base knockback, not very high knockback growth. Yeah, keeping it on stage right there, I think he would have had to connect it off stage, and that's why I was thinking, like, I think forward smash would have been more reliable there, but either way, still good damage. Oh, what a chase. Jumping over that trap with the trampoline and then catching the, you know, sharking with the up air, that's stock one going in Zama's favor. Yeah, and now Sinji is in a very similar position he was in last game. Even worse now because there's a lot less percent on Samba. And he's... It, look at these. Neutral air, neutral air. They're just not being contested by Sinji. He's struggling to find out a way to actually challenge the base part of Samba's, like, neutral, his game plan. Yeah, gonna fall off the edge there for just a moment. And again, this is it, man. Uh, when you're fighting these zoner matchups, it's like, it's gonna snowball one way or the other. That's why the first stock is so important. Ooh, wow. And that, that's something I like, also noticed that when you're fighting Pac-Man, it's just like Pac-Man can sometimes have a hard time KOing. <gasps> did you see that little, little cute thing where he did the up smash and then the water pushed him, canceling the lag of the up smash, and then he, you know, managed to get, I think it was a back air or something like that. Cute, but didn't get him the kill. Uh, He's sweet. still looking for it. Yeah, uh, these commitments are going to start coming out from Sinji in order to just bring this to the even... Uh, now without the fruit, ooh, I kind of gave you that up for free. Uh, if you get the fruit, kind of these uh, Pac-Man kind of helpless. But there we go. You gave back the fruit. Here he goes. He's gonna use it in advantage. Yeah. I will say that I've talked to Sinji before, and he actually a lot of the times likes it when an opponent just grabs the fruit if they have no idea what they're doing, because oh, 
I mean, yes, we know how much fruit can do. I mean, look here. Look at all of the, the, the low percent damage already Sinji's racked up. But your options are still limited. And if Sinji knows your options are limited and you're not used to that, then he can play around that and it can give him just as many openings as a fruit would. Yeah, definitely a good chase so far. Uh, just one advantage. They get to 27, but he needs to do a little bit more than that if uh, Sinji wants to stand a chance and make this a 1 1 scenario. Oh. Kind of scouting out that panic option. Yeah, oof. Just kind of giving up the Galaxian. The fact that he got clipped by that gyro meant that he lost his access to it. Still managing to get some nice solid combos here, but Sinji's down by about 40%. And oh, he might be down by a stock. Just barely hanging on. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Getting a little bit of sharking action right there, but not able to close it out until I say that. No. Oh, wow. The DI is perfect and way too low for that up air. Ooh. Now, one thing actually that we might see that we haven't really seen Ooh. yet. That's beautiful. Um, but the item play of specifically grabbing the opponent's items because Sinji has a lot of experience, you know, holding one of those items and tossing them around. And Zomba does as well. Yeah, I, I think Zamba was just playing around a little bit too much right there, unfortunately falling there. And now 192 here on Pac-Man. Up throw might be enough here if Rob can get a grab. Oh, definitely has to be wary of the grab. But Rob's grab range, oh, surprisingly terrible. Uh, neutral air's range, though. <laughs> yeah, you can just kind of throw it out there right there, and that's what Zamba's doing to get these uh, strings. Yeah, you get the stock, and you get another 24% for good measure. Oh, wow, though. Getting caught between the Hydrant and the Forge Mash. Oh, that forward tilt just barely whiffing. Oh, wow. And this might be... Okay, I like that. Sinji recognizing that whatever damage he was going to get for, like, chasing him from the bell stun wasn't worth having the bell in hand. Because if he does manage to hit him on the ground near the side, that forward smash probably will kill. Oh, I didn't even know he could reset that back in his pocket. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, like, you usually can throw that, like, once or twice uh, to begin with, and then... Uh, I guess he kind of just reset it right there. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the times he wants to be holding it because it's less frames to actually throw it. Um, but if you put it away, your opponent can forget about it. You know, when the bell is in their face, they're obviously thinking, oh, I gotta watch out for bell, but... The last stock scenario is me. That's, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Sinji doing a really good job making that comeback start to happen, but... I mean, that's what we, we've already seen that happen. Twice now. That was a little bit more of a uh, like a raw side B. Just went drop zone side B though. But yeah, look at that. Sinji was not expecting it. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance to the blast. So that's a, a 2 0 advantage for Zamba. One game away from winner's finals here at the monthly Xeno Saga 34. I will say that even though Sinji's, you know, down 0 2 right now, it does feel like his game plan is starting to come together a little bit more cohesively. The big issue is he's getting blown up at like 60. In game one, it happened to him twice. And in game two, even, you know, he had the lead. It felt like he was, you know, doing a really good job. And then he went up off stage, wasn't careful, and just died. So if he's able to avoid those sorts of things, then I could very conceivably see him making the reverse 3 out. Yeah, yeah. The, the three of his six stocks taken, probably like at 60%, just because he's in the corner or off stage. So Sinji, you got to be more, uh, I guess, just careful in those scenarios, but this is still winner's bracket. Even if he loses this set, he's still got some more life in him. I mean, technically he has life of him a life in the loser's bracket, but I would nobody wants to be in there right now. The heavy hitters and losers are uh <laughs> the winner of this gets it to uh manages to get to winner's finals. You know, guaranteed third place. A lot is on the line right now, and I know that Zomba, you know, he's been placing top two consistently, wants to be repeating that sort of, make it very consistent. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, now, this early game is, uh, honestly, Sinji might be safer in the hundreds than he is at, like, 60%, you know? Uh, it's really hard to say because, you know, at the 60s, yes, he can get, like, Nair, you know, side bead, but at the same time, yeah, these ledge traps become so much scarier. Back air is now an, is now a threat. Um, oh, but yeah, he doesn't care. Actually, yeah, Sinji doing a really good job playing around those kill options that Rob normally has. Yeah, that's not like the second stock Sinji in the last game. 
And I think that's what Zama's just trying to like keep in his pocket his tricks when it really matters. There we go. Uh, a good striking scenario. Zamba really good at like just putting, uh, I guess, Sinji in a bad spot. Well, I, I like the fact that uh, Zombo held forward when Sinji was not expecting it. Mm -hmm. um, he, Sinji, you saw him throw down the apple. He was expecting Zamba to be a little bit more center stage, but he jumps or he just runs right through and got underneath for that up air. Really good pickup for Zamba, and now he can start doing what we've already seen him do before. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't hate it, man, because the, the option select was there to, to uh, take a stock at 53%. So just losing the first stock right there, Zamba, uh, I guess, you know, good amount of extra credit. Yeah, I mean, Sinji, the thing is, extra credit against Sinji is really valuable because once Sinji has a lead and is able to play to that, he becomes so, so much harder to deal with. So maintaining the lead for yourself, keeping Sinji the one, you know, trying to, you know, make the business happen. That's going to be really important for him, and that's what he's doing. <gasps> Sam has been very sneaky this entire set. This entire stock, he's been looking for just, like, options to just close out the stock, but now Sinji avoiding the majority, and that's going to be it with, uh, wow, uh, at least closing the gap and putting Zamba in a really good, like, uh, closer to even scenario. Oh, man, Sinji, yeah. <laughs> Both these guys know that this this is the moment where it, it can go either way. If that bell connects, oh, you know, that would definitely be Zomba dead. But, oh, yeah, there's so many moves that Rob also has access to that could end Sinji right now. Sinji, though, trapping him in the corner. Oh, the gyro bounce. And a laser on the platform situation. This next stock's such a big deal. That's going to be it, yeah. Off the platform, off the top. And now Zomba one stock away from winner's finals. Woo, here we go. Woo, yeah. Big low percent damage here. 35% already on Sinji. And Sinji, with the loss of that rage, he's going to have to work even harder to get a kill right now. Yeah, uh -huh. looking for that bell. The bell is going to be key. Well, not the key. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was say. You know what I mean. Well, there it is. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, there's the key. key. <laughs> right. The key is going to be key. Uh, but so Sinji now kind of suffering. He needs to close up the stock. He needs to get a game on the board. Otherwise, Zamba's going to advance as projected. <gasps> oh, interesting right there. <laughs> that gyro actually preventing Sinji from engaging in the pressure that he wanted to. And now 83% almost oh, dying. <laughs> oh. Oh, ah, all oh, right. No tech. There we go. This is a chance for Sinji to get a game on the board. Yeah, and I mean, it also shows adaptation. Sinji was dying to those Roto arms before, and now he turned it into a stock for himself. Possibly the beginnings of a comeback here. Yeah, one opening later, and that's good 40%. Uh, Sinji playing a lot better right now. Ooh, I like that. I'm actually curious why he went for the dash attack there. Uh, it might have been for stage control to try and catch Rob the next landing. But he could have at least gotten another jab in. But, I mean, Sinji's looking really good. This might possibly happen. You know, a game on the board would be fantastic for him. The sour oh. spot of that is actually pretty good for uh, Sinji. Oh, the back air. That hitbox is just so, uh, it's it just <laughs> so, so hateful, man. Oh, watch out. He's specifically going for the sour spot. That's actually so smart. Because otherwise, Sinji would just get knocked right back into his trampoline and be able to recover. But all of that rinse repeat damage now has Sinji sitting at 155%. He has to be really scared of a grab. No. No, no way. way. He's alive. Yeah, across the stage is not enough. But still, Sinji bringing it all the way back potentially. Oh, no. Again, playing with fire. That's it. Yeah. Did you see Pac-Man's <laughs> face when he got hit by that? Oh, I know we're going to see it again. I definitely saw that, though. That, that, the chaos screen looks so sad. Like, he just didn't expect it. Turning well, his back at 167%. He, also, he got stretched out. Yeah, yeah. Like, look that. at look this. He got, he got, like, blurred. Ha, 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 dude. Oh, Pac-Man ate to circle. Enhance, dude. Enhance. Oh, my goodness. That's a 3-0 victory, though, for Zamba. Moving on to winner's finals here at Xeno Saga. And I don't know. It's it just, uh, you know. Maybe they know what they're doing when it comes to seeding this tournament. That's a two seed over yeah. the three seed. I mean, okay, yeah, we're going to be heading back into losers, 